Bowser has not been striking out many. But he gets Cruz looking to start his night. And Hauser strikes him out. Got him with a changeup. Second strikeout for Adrian. No shit. On the outside corner, he got him looking. So Connor Joe is a strikeout victim. And Hauser has his third strikeout, two out of the inning. Hauser ahead in the count, one and two on Connor Joe. And he struck him out for a second time. Got him with a changeup. Four strikeouts for Hauser. One, two, three inning in the fourth. Two, two coming. On the ground toward the hole. That's going to go through for a base hit. Hayes around third. He'll score in the first run of the game. Andrew McCutcheon finds the hole on the right side and drives in Hayes, and it's one nothing Pittsburgh. Marte at third, Lindor at second, Beatty at first. And that's ball four. And the Mets have their first run of the night. Really and deep from the two lefties up in the pen. And McNeil flies one out to right. Joe coming on. And he makes the catch. No tag. Oh, my God. Now he comes late as Joe Jeez. lost it. And the Mets get a gift run. Oh, my God. What happened to Connor Joe? He, he spiked it. He went to just... He was in between throwing it hard to home or throwing it easy to the second baseman, Triolo, and he just spiked it. And Stewart cracks one in the right field. Moving over is Joe. He can't get it. It's up against the wall. In the score is Beatty. Alvarez will be held at third. It's a pinch hit RBI double for DJ Stewart to tie the game. And there goes McNeil stealing third, and the Mets pull off a double steal with no throw. Facing Chapman for the first time. And he lights one down the left field line, base hit, and that'll bring in two. McNeil and Stewart both come in to score. Bader in second with a two-run double, and the Mets for a second straight day take the lead in the bottom of the eighth on a big hit from Harrison Bader.